YouTube, how's it going? And welcome back to AJ's Garage. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, I hope you please consider subscribing. And just to start off this video, if you guys have any experience with gluing back on a rear view mirror and what works really, really well, please let me know in the comments. I've tried three different products. They stick on there really solid. As soon as I get the mirror on and try to adjust it, it just snaps right off. So I ordered one more, hopefully that works. But if you guys uh, know of something that's worked for you, let me know, please. Uh, today's video, we're going to be using this. So what we're gonna be doing is cutting up this cab. So I went and picked this up uh, about three hours from me uh, a few days ago. I didn't really have any time to record it. I left super, super early and I had to be back um, by a certain time to get to work. But I got it for free. Uh, the guy actually gave me $40 in gas to take it. Um, he, he had had it sitting around in his front yard for a while. And looking at the VIN on the cab here, I believe this was a four wheel drive truck. So kind of cool. I think I'm gonna cut this piece out and just kind of keep it in the garage. But um, the reason I got it is the floor. The floor is in really, really good shape, especially the firewall area. There's a little bit of rust um, down here at the bottom that we can just clean up. And up here on this side, let me get around and show you guys. But the exterior of the cab is pretty rough. Thankfully, this is not what I need. I don't need any of this. So I'm gonna be cutting that away right now. Don't need any of this. Probably gonna cut it right about here in the middle of the seat. There is a cab support that runs along the bottom. And this is where I think I'm gonna cut it to get it to fit in the dually. And I'll show you guys why. So this is kind of all scale and surface rust. It's got a little bit of rust in here, but that's repairable. And the firewall is in really, really good shape. So if you guys have followed along, the 74 F350 here was in some sort of accident or something happened to it. So the truck is originally a Wimbledon white truck. Of course, fenders are completely different. Hood is completely different. And it sustained most of the damage here. You can see this is pretty badly bent. This is bent down and the seat up in here, it's kind of tough to see. There's a little bit of a lip here so that it was bent up and the transmission tunnel on this driver's side is higher. You can see the angle it goes at there and it pretty much touches the bottom of the bench seat. The column is not secure. So I don't want to start cutting this apart now. I'm so close to getting this on the road that what I'm going to do is make it a small little series. We're going to cut this all apart, get it down to the basic shape that I need, which I believe is going to be just the floor. So I have some spot weld cutters, a little drill bit. Actually, we're gonna cut all into here, keep the floor. Uh, we don't need the kick panel on that side. We're gonna cut all along here and then get to the seam. So hopefully I can get all the seams apart and just keep the main floor. I am gonna kick, keep this driver's side kick panel just because on the dually it's it's bent up there as well. So for starters, I'm just gonna start by hacking off the back here, getting this more mobile and get it off the truck.
So now that I got the back half of the cab cut off, it's a lot easier to work with. It's still quite heavy, um, but a lot more manageable this way. So taking a look at the rust spots, this passenger side floor is probably the worst. So I'll probably just take a flap disc, try and clean this up and see if there's any small little patch pieces I'll probably need to make. I can see a few holes that have gone through. There's one here, one right there. Once I get the floor off, I'll probably make a new edge here. Same thing on the driver's side. Do that along the way there. Like I said, the firewall is in really, really good shape. I'll probably take the kick panel off of the truck, drill out the spot welds, replace it on the dually, and then that way it's just the floor that I'm welding in as a complete piece versus trying to get this to line up along with the floor at the same time. Now up here by the cowl, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do the welds yet. I'll probably try to drill these out. I don't need this. So I'm gonna see how it comes apart. Obviously these here will free up this. We're gonna keep the seam and the cab mounts are gonna stay on. We're gonna get rid of this top piece on the dually. This is in good shape. This one is not. So hopefully I'll be able to, it looks like on here, it's three pieces in total. So this one is the lip from the firewall. This one here, the second one is the lip of the piece that goes up. So it creates the duct for the water to flow down the cab. And then this top piece is this outer skin. So hopefully we can free all this up. I do need to repair the inner piece on mine because the rust is allowing stuff to just come all through. So we'll see what I decide to do with that when I get there. But for starters, a lot more manageable. So in the next video in this series, we're gonna be working on freeing up everything that we really, really don't need and getting it down to just the bare floor. So again, guys, this is something I've never, ever attempted something this big, I guess, as a welding project. My welding skills are pretty limited, but I feel confident that as long as I take my time, make sure I line everything up and just get some practice in, uh, it should be okay.